welcome to beautiful people now if you go to the movies this week you will have a lot of choices one of those is called stanley ka dabba now this is a story that's funny it's warm and it's about school days and friendship among other things it's that rare film in the sense that it's a children's film which is also about children to tell us why and how they made it we have with us writer director actor amol gupte and the guy who's the hero of the film the guy who plays stanley parker gupte welcome gentlemen to the show thank you thank is you. it okay amol if i start with parker because he's the hero always hero is that what your friends are calling you kind of parker this is a family production na daddy mummy mom, you yeah. all of you in it so what what did what did dad do what did you do what did mom do so actually i acted i i didn't know it was a film so i acted then dad directed wrote it and produced it and acted and mom edited it and produced it. everything what's editing like suppose we sh shoot many 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 scenes hmm. then to make the to make the film you can't put all of them together why right? what's wrong with you very stupid because some all of them are not exactly in order okay so some suppose somebody slaps him cut to some other place back to that place it look very dumb so then in editing you have to edit the bad scenes join two scenes together put okay. two scenes with bad and scenes. direction what did your dad do dad um dad actually um He discussed with the cameraman. He used to tell which scene is going to be done. He used to direct which angle the scene will be done from. Right. So, whose job do you think was the hardest, mom, dad's, or yours? Uh, I think first hardest was dad's, second hardest was mom's, and mine wasn't hard at all. Not hard at all. How come? I just had to do what dad told me to do. A mole. Can you? I can see the pride in your face. You're looking at him. The love, obviously, but there's just such pride. You know how? How did that decision happen? That okay, let's go with our kid for the film. Uh, you know, there's a long backstory to this. Okay. Because uh, Partho is not just uh, an actor. He's, he's a Saturday buddy. Uh, Saturday buddy means that on uh, every Saturday. for many many years now we've had sessions in theater and cinema and art with uh, all kinds of children children with uh, physical and mental challenges children with financial challenges children with learning differences and saturday is kind of uh, a free day for the children it's a holiday and it has been a holiday exercise for many many uh, even before tare zameen par which means uh, about 10 years and this boy is 10 years old yeah so when he found himself around age 3 and he said dad i want to just come with you you know it's and he wanted to see because there are other children yeah. apart from his so he started accompanying you on these workshops and this not just these accompanying activities. participating participating so that uh, child participation on a saturday morning is very important for him and therefore it turned out that he is uh, well honed in terms of studied behavior for the camera and that makes it easy for him so parth so i have a niece who's 9 or 10 uh, what would you tell her why should she see this story or tell her what the story is about is basically the uh, shortest thing i can say is the shortest is basically about a boy who doesn't bring his dabba huh. and then little bit extended that there is really mean sir who who and he the boy his name is stanley he tells stories and uh, in place of that he is from other stephens so he tells stories and all his friends like the story very popular very popular yeah, yeah. now this uh, varma sir he is uh, he gets very angry he hates stanley so he is remove stanley he remove stanley and says not good to eat from others dabbas and he only eats from everyone's dabbas So then, that's the brief story. What do you take in your dabba? I take many things. Like, like my favorite dish in my dabba till now has been chicken. Okay. You know, the movie brought back all these memories of when I was in school. Very similar school, and I remember it brought back memories of the uh, hard-boiled 
egg sandwiches my grandma used to pack for me, the plastic box that I used to take, and lots of friends who shared food. Why this story, Amol? Why this story? Because uh, there is an issue which needs to be tabled, yeah. and uh, maybe uh, it might get some uh, wind uh, under its wing if one tells it in this particular fashion. If it has some amount of entertainment and your own memories, just as you remember your boiled egg sandwiches which your uh, grandmother uh, made, there is a story behind every tiffin for every child who went to school. Because it is just not about the food. It is about mother's love on, in some cases father's love because he is talking about my chicken in his tiffin. But the truth is that if one tables a metaphor for hunger, then how else one would do it without a tiffin box in a school situation. So somewhere it talks about the, the egalitarian uh, behavior of children who are not touched by class differences. It is also talking about the uniform which hides many a stories and it kind of you know keeps the self-esteem intact of every child. And these are a few uh, things apart from the main Buddha as we would yeah, call it, issue yeah. uh, and the but best way to tell it was was okay. like this You're looking bored, you want to go and play? Isha? Okay Whenever you feel like you can go and play, okay? okay. Alright, Amul, the interesting thing about Stanley Ka Dabba is that it's a story for kids and at the same time it's a story about kids, about the way they are brought up, about the way they are taught and a very very critical issue like the fact that there are so many children who are working when they shouldn't be, alright? So child labour. Um, how does my, make one make a difference between what is a children's film, that is a, a film for kids, and a film about kids because there is a difference. The idea to use cinema is to use it effectively to table children's concerns. So that's on the on the on the largest important part of the agenda. Now the second thing is how to use film grammar where children are entertained and their parents or their elder brothers and sisters who are in the youth segment also take home something. It is not possible that you can't or won't go back to your memory bank when you were a child. You can't say, oh, you can't shrug it off that this is a children's film because its plot is, uh, you know, uh, so uh, dumbed down the way it is done here in India about children's films that the adult feels that the child doesn't understand the thing. So you have to dumb it down. Acha, to tume, to papa, to pupu. You know, this, this whole disrespect to children the, the simple definition uh, is when you are on floor. Is, is the child participating, having a smile on his or her face or not? If that is happening, uh, it's mighty chance that it will percolate to the theatre and the children in the theatre.